Hey guys, welcome back to Dad Bod. So today I wanted to make a quick video that kind of focuses a bit on the mental aspect of succeeding with your workouts. Um, you know, the big thing is that I've seen is a lot of people often start a new program. Um, they start excited, they start enthusiastic. Um, you know, they want to often have a goal of maybe losing weight, changing the way the, their body looks. Maybe they have a new year's resolution and, you know, the first couple times they start, they start the workout, they go into it with, with enthusiasm, with excitement and days turn to weeks, weeks turn to months. And usually within the first two months, something happens, uh, people get discouraged and they quit. And so in my experience, you know, I also, I'm human. I get discouraged too at times, sometimes for different things. And I've worked with a lot of people that, that go through this. And so I kind of gathered um, some thoughts together and just want to share to help you in case you started working out, started a new fitness journey, uh, maybe through this channel to help keep you motivated. And so I think the first thing is to kind of understand what it means to get discouraged. You know, we hear that word a lot. We kind of know what it means. But the big thing is, you know, when you start, when you start a fitness routine, you start working out, you have a belief, whether it's strong or whether it's faint, you have some belief in yourself that you're going to accomplish something. Otherwise, you wouldn't start to begin with. You know, people that don't start, they really just don't have that confidence in them or they don't want to. Now, those are kind of the two reasons. I think many people just don't have that belief in them that they can do it. They might think that the circumstances are outside their hands. Maybe they have a different type of lifestyle where they don't want to dedicate the time to it um, or they don't know what to do. But for people that start, they work out, they, they have a goal, whether it's an arbitrary goal, like I just want to look better or losing 10 pounds, which I always say, I don't think weight like specific weight loss sh should be a, you know, a worthy goal. I think there should be something with more substance behind it. Um, but either way, they have that belief, you know, they believe that they can do it. So they start. And often what, in, in my experience, what causes people to get discouraged here is they realize that, you know, they might be working, they might hard, they might be going at the gym doing things that they're not used to, their body's going to be hurting because it's not used to it. Um, maybe they're on some crazy diet because that's what they're kind of told they have to do, stop eating so they're hungry. They've got life going on in the background, so that, that's more stress. And maybe they're doing this for a couple weeks and they just, maybe their weight goes up. You know, imagine if your goal is to lose 10 pounds, you're doing something that's putting you in, outside your comfort zone putting, giving you some pain, uh, maybe you're hungry, maybe you're not doing it the right way, and all of a sudden your weight goes up. You'll probably say, screw this, like, what's the point? I, I'm better off if I just do nothing, go back to myself. Um, you know, other people, they just, they, they might be working, and, and you have to realize, like, for your body um, to change, one, you're seeing yourself every day. So you're not going to really notice a difference by looking at yourself often, um, very quickly, it usually takes a while. This is something that can take months. Um, that's why, you know, my thoughts are, although your long-term goal is to look a certain way, I, I'm kind of a fan of pushing for goals that, um, I feel are more worthy. Like one, your health, you know, just to be healthy, you should exercise. Your body needs to move. So even if your weight stayed the same, even if you gained weight, um, you're going to be healthier if you're exercising. Your blood's going to be circulating. Your lymphatic system's going to be moving. You're going to be getting oxygen to your cells. You're going to be helping your joints. Um, so that's kind of number one. Number two is having a goal that is more focused on the workout. You know, so if, if I'm focused on 10 pounds, I could lose 10 pounds in one day just by, you know, depleting the water I drink. You know, you look at professional fighters and they'll cut, you know, 20 pounds sometimes in a couple of days and they do it. They go to the sauna, they, um, you know, do, do salt baths, they do a, 
they sweat a lot, they stop eating, they stop drinking. And I'm like, so why, why is that so great? That's not, you know, it's not about your weight unless you're competing and you have to, you know, have your weight fall under a certain threshold. But for everyone else, um, it should really be about health. I agree the way you look um, often boosts people's self-esteem, so that, that can be important. But that's kind of the long goal. And instead of focusing on that because it'll take time, you have to, one, understand you know, the way your body looks, changing it if you want to have a six-pack and maybe you're far from it now. It's going to take some time and you have to be willing to accept that. So maybe shoot for like a long goal. If you really um, you know, want the way you look to be a goal, then make it like a one-year goal. And in the meantime, because you always need to have a goal, make your goal the workout. So, you know, when we do the 10 minute targeted workout, day one, we'll do 10 push ups a minute for 10 minutes. And the next week we do that, we're going to go up to 11. So the focus becomes on successfully completing the workout. And I've seen this, there's, um, there's kind of like a, a psychological aspect to this. So you see people that get obsessed with you know counting their steps and I always kind of thought this was silly for me because I was always doing more intense workouts you know pushing cars up hills I'm hitting a sledgehammer 16 pound sledgehammer against a tire 1500 times without stopping I'm lunging a mile without stopping in under 30 minutes I'm doing all sorts of stuff that I consider somewhat crazy pretty intense you know doing 120 dips non-stop And then I see people saying like, oh yeah, I just hit like a new goal of, you know, 4,000 steps. I'm thinking like walking, like I didn't really consider that a workout. And for me, it's not. Um, But for many people, that's great that it is. But this idea that people start to become obsessed kind of uh, with, with hitting that target. So I think it's human psychology. Like we always, if we have that goal um, that we're striving for, we find a way to somewhat get obsessed with it. And I'd say that's kind of a healthier obsession. And that's something that we want to do with this channel. So when you're doing the 10 minute workout, your focus needs to be on hitting the reps when you do it. And there's all, we always have a back, we always have a way out. So if you don't hit it for whatever reason, you can do something else by adding an extra set. And that's going to force you to be doing more than the previous time. And the idea is if you keep improving, whether you're doing more reps per set or you're doing more sets than the previous time and you give it a certain amount of time, you're going to get to the point where you're doing essentially a lot of work and your body will change. You will get stronger. And most importantly, you won't get discouraged because your focus is no longer on, you know, something that will take a while to get. So, you know, when you're starting out, all you're thinking about is that end result. It's not going to come. Instead, your focus becomes on what you need to do that day, what you need to do that workout. And when you do it, you get that feeling that you accomplish something. You get that feeling that, you know, I'm improving. I'm one step closer to my goal. And to me, that's what success is. Success to me is not when you hit that goal because I've had experiences in business, I've had experiences in other parts of my life, I've made lots of money, I've lost lots of money. Um, You know, I I started a a business to go off on a little tangent just to share a little experience with um, how I could have been discouraged. I started a tool business, this was back in 2014, so 10 years ago. And at the time I was working with a friend and things just were not working out well. You know, it was about 18K in the hole, um, tools were breaking, like, you know, basically no customers. And it was just kind of a rough part. And I think a lot of people there would have quit. They would have been discouraged. They would have said like, okay, I've had these, you know, these fantasies of making X amount of money. And right now things aren't working out. It's getting tough. I'm already, you know, cut my losses and stopped. And so at the time, you know, we kind of separated me and the the business partner, um, but I, my focus was on making a product that was good. And I didn't really, you know, obviously I wanted to make money. I wanted to have a successful business, but um, my biggest focus was like, I kind of thought it was cool because 
Up until then, I was an engineer. I'd spent time working for someone else. And I was so kind of infatuated with this excitement of building something, making something, learning, that I just became obsessed with just making something unique, making something cool. And so I kept working on it. And within like a month or two of you know separating with a partner, I was just laser focused on the product. I found a new design, I found a new manufacturing factory that could do it for us. And you know, I started pulling in, I think within just a few months of getting my order, you know, like 10,000 a month in sales, which was massive from where, where I had started. Um, and that's where, I, like, just one example of how you can be discouraged could just destroy something that, you know, in retrospect, like this business has done really well. It's been 10 years now. It's given me the ability to kind of do what I want, have some time to do this and other things. And, you know, just keeping that focus on, um, you know, instead of like the end result, focusing on doing the right steps and putting, putting effort in it. And in my experience and the people I've talked to and other people I've, I've heard speak, um, usually things kind of work out when you do that. So if you're going through some a moment in your life, whether it's in, in working out, um, or something else, just don't give up. That's the most important thing. You kind of fail when you quit. And um, try to shift your focus into being productive, into either making something better, um, taking the steps necessary to succeed, and just follow the motions and things should work out. I hope that helps. We'll talk to you next time.